And now it's time for Southern California's sports fishing voice. Let's talk hookup. For the next two hours, join Pete Gray, rock cod Rick Maxa, Corey Sandin, and this week's special expert guest for fishing information, new techniques to catch more fish, and the most current scoop on what's happening in the water. Let's Talk Hookup is sponsored in part by Yamaha Outboards, official motor sponsor of Let's Talk Hookup. Royal Polaris, the world's finest long-range sports fisher. By Ford, the official truck of Let's Talk Hookup and Shimano Rods and Reels. Fish with the best, Shimano. Get ready for the fastest two hours on radio with the hosts of Let's Talk Hookup, Pete Gray, Rock Cod, Rick Maxa, and Corey Sandin. Good morning, anglers, and welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. I'm Pete Gray with Rock Cod. Rick Maxa is back in the studio with Captain Tim Ekstrom from the Royal Star. We're going to be talking fishing we're going to be talking fishing in Mazatlan coming up very soon in January aboard the Royal Star. You stay tuned. This is Southern California's Sport Fishing Voice. It's Let's Talk Hookup on the Mighty 1090. Here's John Ireland for Rancho Leonero. Ranch is small, you know. It's very personal, very intimate. I don't think there's anywhere else that you could have the old Baja feel and have all the miles of beachfront, the palapa roofs and the stone walls. There's not a room that you don't have some kind of ocean view. You don't give up any amenities at the ranch. It's just very rustic. You know how when you cook outdoors, it tastes better? Well, that's Rancho Leonero. It just tastes better. We have paddle boards. We've got kayaks. We've got snorkeling equipment, of course. We've got 12 super pongas. We have dive strips. We've got over 40 kayaks at the hotel. We've got all accurate equipment, very top of the line. And um, when the fishing's good, we'll freeze your fish, pack it all up, send it home with you. People love it. They'll come back five, six times a year. That's the highest accolade we can get. 1-800-646-2252. 646-AHA. And RanchoLaneArrow.com. It's unique. It's the year-end sellathon at your San Diego County Ford dealers. But don't wait. These deals absolutely end January 2nd. Get a great deal on remaining 2018 models now. You ever tried selling a car on your own? It's a pain. Stop by your local San Diego County Ford dealer during the year-end sellathon and get an extra $1,000 for your qualified trade towards select new vehicles. That's an extra grand without the hassle. Ford is offering a huge lease bonus on three of their top SUVs, Escape, Edge, and Explorer. Lease one and take advantage of the amazing year-end deals. Stop by your nearest San Diego County Ford dealer to see if you qualify. If you need a new truck, we have got you covered. They've got great financing deals plus cash back on the legendary F-150s. It's the best-selling truck in California for a reason, and all the latest technology on board will have you connected to your smartphone in no time. These new F-150s are smart and tough. Whether it's work, play, or a bit of both, Ford has got you covered. And right now is the best time to get you into the right Ford car, truck, or SUV for you. It's the year-end sellathon. Swing by your local San Diego County Ford dealer to see the full range of Ford products. Get the best year-end deals and learn why these vehicles are built for San Diego. You've heard all about it. You know the angler's catching fish habit, so what's holding you back? It's a fact. Fishdope.com really does help you catch more fish and burn less fuel. Fishdope.com is the only fish-finding service with a spotter plane along with a crew of top anglers on the water almost every day that report actual locations and catches. You can get daily catch reports from Point Conception to San Martin Island 365 days a year. Fishdope.com is for every boat, fish on your friend's boat, or a sport boat. Fishdope.com has online planning tools, moon phase, tides, hot bite icons, and more. So bottom line is, if you don't have Fishdope.com, well, you're probably missing a lot of bites. Membership costs less than $50 of gas, and that's for the entire year. That's right, one year. What a bargain. Plus, use this special code to save $20 on a new Fishdope.com membership. Check it out today. Fishdope.com. Catch more fish, burn less fuel. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hook Up on the Mighty 1090. Good to be back, man. Yeah, whoa. Everyone's asking, where's Rock Cut Rick? Uh, somebody came by the shop yesterday, like, you okay? I mean, feeling all right? Just, just holiday stuff, you know, fun yeah. time with the family. And, A lot of stuff yeah, going on. Went to see Dallas's family up in Central California and went with Mom and Car over for a little family trip. So, yeah, all good. Yeah. Everything's great, great time, but really good to be back and 
What a good day to, yeah. to come back. Good to have you back, Ricky. It's uh, great. And Corey did an excellent job while you were gone. But always great to have the team back no, here. No for doubt. Sure. The band is back together <laughs> here in Let's Talk Hookup. Yeah. Captain Tim Ekstrom, speaking of the A team, good morning. Good morning. Always right. a pleasure. We, uh, we need to switch mics there. Yeah, let's go ahead and switch. Hello. <laughs> Gotta love live now? radio. Are we on? Sounds good to me. All right. We got you now. Good morning. Yeah. Always a pleasure to be here. Yeah. Stoked to have you, Tim. This is always like my favorite shows. There's very yeah. there's very few people in this industry that exude the passion for it like Tim does. Yeah. All the way around. Yep, indeed. Speaking of passion, man, we are passionate about going to Mazatlan coming up here in a month, huh? It's coming soon. Yeah. I can't wait. You know what I mean? There's nothing we like better than to launch something new, try yep. something new. Yep. Obviously, the fishery itself isn't new. There's been a lot of fishing down in that that, that whole, you know, Corbettina outside the, the line around the Marias Islands. There, there, there's there's a lot of history there with our fleet and, and the, the, the fleet that's grown in PV there. But... I can't wait to, to operate out of a new port, new destination. Just offer something new. It's yeah. what we're about. And and, and the, the the fishing over the past, what has it been since, you know, Panama was the last big thing that, that, that we was just completely off the, 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 the beaten track. But going to Clipperton, out of Zwad, out of out of Montanillo, out of, it's been a while since we've we've had the opportunity to, to, to launch something new, introduce something new. So here we are. I mean, this is what we used to do. This was our, our, our signature. So I'm... I'm uh, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, I just totally. love it down there. I mean, we've talked about it a million times. It's just such a great destination. Just as a destination alone, Mazatlan. The El Cid? Yeah. Oh, so my fun. God. That place is so amazing. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Ridiculous. I can't wait to pull that pull Royal Star. <laughs> exactly. And have that picture of Royal Star at that dock with yep. the marina in the background. People are going to be jaws. Are you know what I mean? It's, and then the, they talk about symbiotic, you know, totally. synergy. It just, it, they just go together. It's just a yeah. perfect destination yeah and the proximity the islands just no travel time you know what i mean nine hours and and you're in the you're in the driver's seat fishing for a 300 pounder nine hours nine hours that's all it is that's it as opposed to four days wow. you know that's like going this slow. is cool you know, that's <laughs> going slow nine hours going slow it's right there yeah yeah, yeah. cool closer than puerto Varta. well no it's not closer but it's it, it's it's I mean, closer it, to the upper end yeah, well, from from PV itself, yes. exactly. Yeah. But I mean, you know, in my my opinion, it's equidistant. You're talking about a thirty mile difference. I mean, three hours. Yeah. Whoa, you know, it's <laughs> yeah. nothing. For of which us. you'll be sleeping for. Yeah, that's a hop, skip, and a jump, man. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing. So the plan is okay, uh, and and both of these trips, by the way, have space available. They're they're light loads. Mucho. And you're going. Yeah. Hundred percent. You know, it's a new venture. I just wrote something about it on our website the other day. It's a new venture, and, and, and we get it. And last year, we all know, you know, we had that mechanical issue. It was a total bummer. I mean, yeah, we, yeah. the thing was ready to go. We had a generator breakdown. I, you know, we don't sail on one generator. We, we all know that story. And, and, you know, it put a hitch in our get-along as far as marketing the trip to Easter, no doubt. You know, the idea was to go down there and catch some fish and get it off the ground. This is our launch, our official launch. <clears throat> Excuse me. As such, the first two trips have pretty light loads. I think one has eight. Yeah, I think they both have eight on them. Yeah, We're limited going. to 18 passengers max. Limited to 18. We actually changed the load. We originally scheduled them for 20. We dropped it to 18. I just, you know, that's always been our big fish format. Yeah, right. And I, and I, 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 I rethought it. You know, we, we sharpened up the pencil, rethought the thing, and said, you know, I'm, 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 I'm happier with loads of 18. That's what we do. You know, as far as big, big fish goes. Right. So we reduce the load. And there's, I want to say the first two, the first two trips in January, and I have eight anglers on each. We're going. You're going. We're going. 100. Uh, percent Absolutely. We're yeah. driving. We're going. We got to get this thing off the ground. Uh, in, any listeners, any and all listeners out there, listen up because you're going to get uh. the exclusive private charter if it stays yeah. like it is. I wouldn't doubt that it, that there have been a few anglers that are on the fence that probably thought we were going to cancel or drop it. You right. know, so maybe they've been 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 waiting. And after these holidays, we'll we'll, we'll hopefully pick up a few more. But regardless, yeah. if we don't, I'm willing to, to, to invest. You know, I've, Randy, Brian, and I, we put our heads together. We're willing to invest the time and the effort and the resources, the capital, to get the boat down there and get it out on the grounds and, and get this thing going. I mean, I, I, I see it as, as as a significant piece of our, our, our future winter fishery. Yeah. You're a big fish fisherman, and you're sitting there thinking about it, you and your bud. You could very well decide to grab those tickets and be going down there and fishing on the Royal Star in big fish country with ten guys. I mean, can you right. imagine that? Yeah. Oh. yeah. <laughs> Sounds I mean, like a dream come true. Right now. A, a, light, a light load, yeah. you know, a light load boat guy. I mean, that that's it. Yeah. I mean, this is... Even and, if it's 18, and when it's, if it's, it's I was just going to say that. Yeah. If it sells out, there's 18. That's nobody. This yeah. is a giant boat in the... 
you know, in the prime, there's just such a cool opportunity to go fishing and a great place to get to fish on for the style of fishing that typically takes you, you know, two weeks worth of time to do. You're going to get to go down there, you know, less than a week's worth of work's going to go by and you're going to be fishing big ones. I, I think it's so cool. Yeah. And as a reminder to everybody, it's it's the standard format of fishing. We're going to bring Full load of sardines, 300 plus scoops, you know, 325 Ooh. scoops of sardines. Which nobody fishes down there with it, that kind we're gonna of We're going to be thing. loaded. We're running two four day trips back to back, and uh, there, there's more than enough bait for both trips. Yeah. And then we'll be holding the fish that we catch in RSW and then returning back to San Diego to have the fish processed there at Fisherman's Processing according to everybody's wishes and and I, you know I, I think the big advantage needless to say fishing wise is that load of sardines i mean you can't no overstate the the advantage that represents I, my I, gosh i you know both Ricky and i've been down there i've been down there numerous times and just wished we had something to chum because there's fish around you just couldn't get them to go oh, yeah. you, know, you knew there were fish around you have you start throwing some sardine at them Watch out. Yeah, I remember the last show we were on. We talked about the magic of the sardine. Yeah. They'll swim They'll swim 20 miles to eat one. They they just love them. They just love them. It's the best bait in the world. It just is. Yeah, no doubt. So 100% go on the Royal Star. All four trips now. You have two in January and then two in March. That's correct. One of them's already sold out in March. That's correct. Yeah. But uh, but the def- definitely the two Let's Talk hookup trips are, are are a go here at the end of January. And let's talk for a minute about Mazatlan because here's – now, when I was going in last May, um, the scenario was it's a four-day trip. I was going to fly in that morning. There's a t- morning flight from Tijuana, uh, Tijuana CBX to Mazatlan. You get on the boat that afternoon. You fish for four days and then fly back that evening right you fish so it's a four-day trip you fish three full days of the of the four right. days you leave departure time is is 5 p.m that's what it's scheduled as it'll be around five return time on the day of return is about seven in the morning mm-hmm. you know get up there's have, a noon one a nice o'clock breakfast. flight to get yeah. home yeah you yeah. can it, i mean it, it, it's way feasible for somebody to to, to fly, fly in, in fly jump on the boat and then fly out, the fly out. And get, yes i'd really love it to see anglers extend their vacations, yes. spend a couple extra days, yeah. bring the little woman down, and she can hang out in, in, in Mazatlan or at the resort for a couple, three days yeah. drinking margaritas while you're not there. Absolutely. But uh, either but, way, I think that, that, that it will it will enhance the vacation totally. if, if somebody elects to stay there for an extra day or two at the very least, if not more. Yeah. But – you know, I understand time constraints. I'm, I'm, I'm a, you know, I got my kids and life and everything else sure. too, so I get it. It, it know, is doable. Of, yeah, a That's lot my of point. people just have time to to shoot down there, right. jump in the boat, and 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 shoot back. Hey, that works too. That's what's so cool is if you're under those type of time constraints, you don't often get the opportunity at this style of fishing on a platform like the Royal Star. This is what's such such a unique experience is this type of trip typically takes. 12 days or 15 days to do and now you're you know if you're the you're the type of guy who's busy and work and everything else you get you get this big fish experience with the highest the highest operating level of boat and crew and bait and food but you get that in four days yep and and you can fly non-stop either out of the cbx in tijuana or alaska airlines has a daily non-stop to mazatlan right LA. uh, out of lax mm-hmm. yeah so either way no matter where you're coming from you could be down there fishing Big fish country and beautiful surroundings too. My gosh, what yeah. what a beautiful tropical ocean it is right there yep. off of uh, Puerto Vallarta, Mazatlan. And and typically at that time of weather or that time yeah. of year, the weather's just epic. I yeah. remember one year I was down there. We had some amazing snapper fishing in a different location there. Mm-hmm. That was just which is another option, you know. It's like you know you go do something in the evening that, uh, that something different. I mean, there's other fish besides tuna down sure. there. Sure. Yeah, you go kick the anchor over on on one of the banks. You yeah, know? absolutely. And, and and we we intend on doing that. You know, if, I mean, if, hey, it's fishing. We all know. You know, sometimes they bite, sometimes they don't. Sometimes yeah. they're there, sometimes they're not. If they, if they're not around, you know, hey, we're going to give it our 100 percent old try. But you know, if it's if it's just dead, hey, we'll go do something else. Yeah. Go kick the anchor over on a bank and oh, stop yeah. the boat, do a little bit of fishing. See yeah. what we can see. What we can it's, rustle up. It's a lively area. My Indeed, point it is. is. It's just not Indeed just one fish target. It's you can you can catch a lot of different fish down. That's there. right. Yeah, no doubt about it. So that's pretty awesome. So right now, what's going on in the Royal Star? Paul, Captain Paul Carameo, on his final Royal Star voyage as a, as a member of the Royal Star. Crew. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Yeah, what? 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 
I know. I I, I got it. Got it. I don't want to. You know, huh? he can promote his own new venture. But <laughs> Captain Paul Carameo is is moving on, at at at. at and he has my blessing. As a matter of fact, he had my full support all the way through the process. He's going to be the Long Range Fleet's newest co-owner operator. He and 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 Renee are are they're they've got so a plan. You just gave to, it away right to, there. To, oh, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> they're going to buy shogun. into the Shogun. That's exactly <laughs> right. And Paul is well prepared. He's been with us for you know going on nine years, and 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 that kid is. You know, I mean, I had a similar story. He he worked his way up through the ranks. He signed on as a as a crew member. It's a pledge that I always make to our guys. You know, they they put in the time and effort. We'll train them up and get them ready. And 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 when they are ready, I'll I'll do everything I can to either provide an opportunity right there on Royal Star or find an opportunity within the fleet or make an opportunity. And and sure. and, and he has followed the format, to, you know, to the letter. He he started as a young man at it, got his license, learned the engine room. He's a really really competent engineer, and and he's an incredible fisherman. He's a he's a people person. He's a he's a a, a, a very very um he, he's a solid leader. You know what I mean? It, yes. it, even the first trip that he ran, everybody that came back, the feedback that I fielded from the anglers that were on him, just just commented on his leadership ability. You know, he's he's a, he's a positive, strong, you know. Uh, He's got a lot of confidence, and 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 and, and he 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 projects that. You know, no nobody doubt. nobody has any question that that that, that he's got it. And, yeah, and he's done a phenomenal job every trip that he's run, including the one that he's on, and he's ready. He's That's ready cool. to, to, well, to, to make the jump. Congratulations to Paul, and uh, he's going to be here with Renee in January Great. on the show to talk about his new venture and their new partnership on the Shogun. Um, so fantastic. Well, you know, I mean, understanding that we're competitors now, <laughs> yeah. We're, so uh, we're still, I mean, we work closely with uh, one another, and I, 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 yeah. I hope for his success. And I know that there's plenty of anglers out there for everybody, and yeah. and, and those guys are going to go out and they're going to they're going to make their their own name. They're going to they're going to build their own clientele, and they've got my full support. It's yeah. one of the fun stories that I always think about, and you've said it in years past, is the number of people that are in Paul's exact scenario that have been crew members with you on the Royal Star over the year, just like the number of boat owners and boat captains, whether it be commercial fleet or other guys in the sport fleet or guys buying one-day boats. I mean, the number of people that have, you know, joined the ranks of your colleagues that were once your employees is pretty impressive that's, on that boat. That's it. I mean, yeah. we 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 have a, a, a long history of it, and, and, you know, I could rattle them off. We're up to eight or nine guys that are that are owner-operators that have, that have worked with us over the past 20 years. So pretty that's impressive. That's pretty point of pride. Yeah, that's yeah. right. And that's no. what I'm about. That's what we're about. We, yeah. we've, we've, uh, we follow through. You know, we walk the walk, talk the talk, and all that stuff. But I, I just – I have such – I really I, – I, it – it's a point of pride for me. That's cool. It really is. You know, watching these kids work through and, and, and then seeing them go out on their own and be successful, I, I yeah. love it, man. That's what I live for. That's and right. I've already got my sight set on my on the next guy. And, <laughs> and, and, and you know, it's important for our crew also for them to know that, that there yeah, are right. those opportunities, you know, that to see it. And, and and watch it develop, and then you know the next man in line, he's 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 and ready to step up. Let's face it, that's how you get the best of the best, which you've always been able to attract because they know that that's you know that's what it is with the future holds. It's not just a well, you're never going to get above this level, so you don't want to go there. I mean, you you want the you want the best people all wanting to be on the Royal Star. Like, hey man, pick me. This is you know that's what I want. You know, you're going to get the you're going to get the best of them, and that's how you that's how you keep that image that that the Royal Star has been able to keep. That's right. I'm on the hunt right now too. <laughs> it's got a spot opening up now. Yeah, I'm cool. fielding. Yeah, yeah. fielding, fielding field. applicants. Boy, what an opportunity for somebody for sure. Well, as you can hear, we have a great show lined up for you today. A lot to talk about here with Captain Tim X from Royal Star and, of course, Fisherman's Landing and a whole lot more. You're not kidding, man. A great time and a great opportunity. If you want to be a part of the show, man, we'd love to hear from you. A great time to do it. Two ways you can reach us on Let's Talk Cookup. If you want to talk to Captain Tim, 858-457-1090. That's our local phone number. Again, 858-457-1090. Or you can reach us on that toll-free line. That one's 877-792-1090. One more time, 877-792-1090. Not only are we going to be talking all kinds of fishing, we're going to be talking Royal Star, talking about the Mazatlan trip, fisherman's processing, all the great stuff going on today. We are also giving away such a killer prize. And that's to one lucky caller at the end of the show today is going to get to go fishing on a full-day trip on board the Liberty at a fisherman's 
Moon's Landing. A great opportunity for you coming up here real soon. So very fun times. Again, if you want to get your shot at going on the Liberty or talking to Tim, 858-457-1090 or 877-792-1090. When we come back, we're going to be taking your phone calls. Lots of great info coming your way. You stay tuned. You're listening to Southern California's Sport Fishing Voice. It's Let's Talk Hook Up on the Mighty 1090. Alaska's Katmai Lodge is a world-class wilderness fishing paradise on the banks of the famed Alagnac River. You'll fish for all five species of Pacific salmon, king, sockeye, chum, coho, and on even years, pinks, plus trophy-sized rainbow trout, arctic grayling, and dolly varden, both in the Alagnac and the nearby waters. Katmai Lodge's U.S. Coast Guard and CPR certified guides are fishing fanatics and know how to help you reel them in. They are exceptional teachers and ensure you have days that are fish filled and fun with freshly prepared snacks and barbecued lunches on the river. Back at the lodge, there are fireside appetizers and refreshments each afternoon, as well as fresh, delicious meals prepared by their exceptional chef. Elevate your visit with a quick fly-out trip to Brooks Falls in Katmai National Park for world-renowned bear watching. For the best fishing adventure ever, visit katmai.com. That's K-A-T-M-A-I dot com. Hey, it's time! The Los Angeles Angeles Boat Show Show at the Fairplex in Pomona, conveniently reached from all points in Southern California. Uh, January 10th through the 13th, you're going to see the newest models, the latest marine gear and tech gadgets. They have accessories and everything that a new boater needs. All right, you'll find a wide range of new products and services to make owning and operating a boat more enjoyable. It's going to be Thursday from noon to 8, Friday and Saturday from 10 to 8, and then Sunday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Hey, admission is only 15 bucks. Kids 12 and under are free, and discounts are available for U.S. and active military. We've got a boat with your name on it. It's the Los Angeles Boat Show, January 10th through the 13th at the Fairplex in Pomona. All right, for more information and to purchase tickets, visit LosAngelesBoatShow.com. When it comes to Southern California sport fishing, two names stand out. Fisherman's Landing Tackle and Shimano. Hi, this is Doug Kern. No one makes more lures that get bit by more fish than Shimano. Colt Sniper Jigs, Colt Sniper Jerk Baits, Pop Orca, Butterfly, and the amazing Shimano Flatfall Jig. Our professional saltwater experts at Fisherman's Landing Tackle will help you choose the right Shimano Jig for your next trip. When it comes to Shimano Jigs, you owe it to yourself to visit us at Fisherman's Landing Tackle at Fisherman's Landing in San Diego or on the web at saltwatertackle.com. For local and long-range fishing, the Islander out of Fisherman's Landing is a favorite among seasoned or novice anglers. But Islander Charters is much more than great fishing. They also do incredible Guadalupe white shark diving trips as well as a schedule of kayak mothership trips. You need to check out the Islander on their website, islander-charters.com. The Islander is San Diego's leader when it comes to two- to five-day fishing. Watch the website for trips and adventures available. Experience the Islander difference. Visit islander-charters.com for all the details. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup on the Mighty 1090. Phones are getting packed again if you want to get through. The best way right now, I do the local line. It's 858 area code 457 1090. We still have a toll free number open, but we got a couple on that local line. That's the, that's the route I'd go. 858 457 1090. No doubt about it. You know, uh, Royal Star Sport Fishing Captain Tim Extra and talking about fishing. So, those of our listeners that, that for some reason, may not be familiar with the Royal Star. To give us the description of that incredible. Rick and I have fished extensively on the Royal Star over the years. She is specifically designed for smaller groups of anglers, smaller being our maximum load is 24, 25. And going back to the big fish thing, typically we limit our loads to 18. We want them to have a, a, a high angler to crew ratio. That, 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 that service at the rail, especially when you get into big fish, makes a huge difference but we really are, are, are designed to cater towards the smaller groups boats 90, 95 foot overall 92 by 25 and and hosting anywhere from 18 to 25 but there, there's just incredible amount of elbow room on the boat um we've randy and i, I i've been on that boat since 1992 if you can believe that yeah i took 92? it over since 1992 wow. yeah and randy and i purchased the boat in 1996 wow. at the end of 96 and then Brian bought into the boat in 2006, so we, we've got a heck of a history yeah. now. I, I'm actually, uh, I would say. actually one of the old salts here. <laughs> yeah, you are, man. That's that, that amazing. Happened. We've had a really consistent history of, 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 of developing 
a, a standard of service, a, a standard of excellence that, 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 you know, our reputation certainly has been, been solidified over the years with this consistency. You know, we always have a top-notch crew, and, and, and the team of operators – we, we will typically develop an operator from within, like Paul, for example, but at the very least, you're certain when you book a Royal Star Voyage to have either myself at the helm, Ra- Captain Randy Toussaint, or Captain Brian Sims. All of us are, 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 are veterans. Yeah, I mean, the, 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 the pup is Brian, who started in 1994. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, that's right. when he started on Royal Star, exactly. And Randy and I, you know, we go back to the mid-'80s. So wow. there's, a, there's a lot of experience in, in, in one place. And, and, and that and that wasn't, wasn't Brian's first gig in the long-range fleet, either. No, I think he worked for a couple of years with Art there on the Searcher Prime. And, and on the 105, too. Oh yeah, the one. Yeah, yeah I, went, fit, I fished with him on the 105 in the no, early 90s. Yeah, he had a hiatus yeah. from Royal Star. He went. I want to say it was in 98. It might have been 2000. Oh, okay, anyway, that was... He had like a six or eight year hiatus okay. where where and that was the same exact deal as like right. with Paul. Like Paul, he worked his way up through the ranks. He ran some trips on Royal Star, and it got to the point where, you know, I, I'll never forget it. I, I, I remember it was like it was yesterday, man. I, one day. Brian Brian walked up and said, "Hey man, your new your new job's over there." <laughs> he was like, "What?" I said, "Yeah, you got to go out and do it on your own, yeah. man. Like, get, get out of here. <laughs> See you later." That's funny. That's, that's cool. That's exactly how it yeah. happened. I talked to John Klein. We we set it all up ahead of time. It was the best thing. It was the best thing for him. I mean, he he you know he earned that spot. He, he absolutely did. And 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 he went from he went from a you know an accomplished guy in Royal Star to. to Really earning his stripes, yeah. getting out there, and again, he he ran his own boat, developed his own reputation, and 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 learned how to run the boat, and like both both physically run the boat, fishing wise, as well as run the boat mechanically. It's it's it's, it's all part of the process. And when he came back and, and and rejoined the team on Royal Star, Randy and I, I mean, you talk about a guy that's that that's prepared for anything and everything. Yeah, you know, he's got it all. Nice. Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. So between that, I mean, that that's a lot of experience, and 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 we project that. In, 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 in every aspect of our operation, you know. But, you know, the crew is a signature of a boat. We've talked about it a lot of times. I mean, a boat's a boat. This boat's got this feature. It's got a bigger bathroom. It's got a hot sh- you know, whatever. I mean, a boat a boat is a boat. There, there's certainly some features that make, make living on the boat for 10 days or 12 days or four days better. But the, the crew is what makes it. Yes. It really is. That's a well, boat's signature. And, and you and, haven't even mentioned the chefs yet. Well, that too. So, I mean, my always, gosh, the food on Royal Star is unbelievable. It, it, it's always it's been a cut above. Yeah, it's always been one of our one of our points of focus because those guys carry us. I mean, they yeah. do. It, we all know fishing gets slow every once in a while, but you know, when you have some epic meals going on, you can endure the slowest day of fishing whatsoever, and the fi- and, and the food's good, and nobody cares. <laughs> man. It's like you know what? Cool. The sights are beautiful. We had a terrible day of fishing, but the food was yeah, epic. We had a good yeah. day. <laughs> <laughs> came home at the or came went in the gal at the end of the day and settled in and. and and, and man, those guys took care. I swear to God, it's, it's true. Everybody's happy and whooping it up, and cool. you know, smiles on their faces. It makes a huge difference. Oh yeah. But you know, again, you mean there's back, actually slow days of fishing. Yeah, on the it, happens. Star? it happens. Come on. Yeah, it does. I, I, I'm, I'm, I uh, know. I, I know it. And, really? and, 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 and even it's when not it's not like wide open every day, twenty four seven. It wouldn't be, it wouldn't be fun if it was. That's I true. Mean, yeah. You know, there is a lot of truth to that, and 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 I don't get. Uh, you know, I mean, I, as, as an operator when I'm out there, I, I certainly, you know, I, I, I grit my teeth and, and endure the slow times. But I'm not, I'm not, I'm not thrown off by it. I'm not dissuaded yeah, by it. As especially. a matter of fact, you know, the longer it goes, the more determined I get to, to, to you know, exact some justice on those yeah. bastards and we get on them. <laughs> exactly. like, they're gonna pay you know it's here. coming. Yeah, oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, you know it's coming. Yeah. And it's part of it, man. It makes you a better fisherman, and it makes the good times that much better. It really yeah, does. Really. I have no problem, you know, doing it as long as I have. I have no problem relating the realities of it. The reality is sometimes it's good, sometimes it's kind of good, bad. and sometimes it's just not good. Yeah, but, that's but fishing. You guys... You, you you open the door with the whole you know with the whole galley thing. I mean, you know, a slow day of fishing on the water is not a tragedy. It's not yeah. a disaster. It's not a you know. It's it's just slow fishing, and 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 you can expect it. It's what you make of that. Yeah, totally. And and, and those are those opportunities to to look around you and go, wow, man, I'm out on the ocean. That's a big part of long range fishing now. Yes. You know what I mean? It's the scenery. It's being out there. It's away from. The, the hustle and bustle, reality of life, traffic, you know, yeah. phones ringing, TV blasting, all that. You know, it's like a big part of of, of the, the experience is to get out and get away from that. Go out and take a 
deep breath of yeah. cut loose. fresh sea air, you know, 150 miles offshore. Go see something that you you can't see anywhere else, which is a, it's an everyday occurrence yeah. right, on a long range boat. You yeah. know what I mean? I could. It's an amazing, amazing experience. Well, hey, if you want to get through, talk to Captain Tim, have a question, make a comment. One line is open on the toll free line at 877 792 1090. And one line open at 858 457 1090. Have a chance to not only talk to Tim, but win a trip, a full day trip on the Liberty, the beautiful. Liberty out of Fisherman's Landing, which is getting gussied up right now. Oh they're doing boy, their, she's they're looking. Yeah, good. yeah, it's really good. They're doing yeah. their annual maintenance right now, and you know, it's always, it's always, you always know that you're going to get a good product when a boat goes into maintenance is as good a shape as the Liberty does, because yeah. it's not like they had a giant laundry list of things to do. So that, that's when they get to do all the really cool looking stuff. That's you know? right. They're, they're doing a remodel in the galley yeah. right now. They're, they're, they're improving it. You know, it's, it's just like anything. When we, when we did the full remodel of the boat three years ago. You set it up for what you think is going to be, and then as soon as you start doing it, you realize, oh, wait a minute, this could have been better over here, yada, yada, yeah. yada. So those guys are they're, they're, they're making some major improvements to the galley, setting the boat up to, to, to be more efficient, more effective. Outside, the boat's beautiful. They did a bunch of mechanical work, did a bunch of work on the hull, on the running gear, meaning the propellers, shafts, and the like. She, I mean, she's she's that's cool. She's getting her annual maintenance. Any boat that runs that much, and, and and the wood boats, you know, they need that kind of TLC in order to 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 be at the top of their game. And 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 there's no corners cut on that thing, and, no. and for good reason. Taro just does a phenomenal job. He's so of good. God, you mean going back to it? What's the formula? The number one component of a, of a successful formula in, 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 in our business. The number one component is crew. Right. And, and Taro's just done a phenomenal job of assembling a professional crew. And those guys, every day, they're on it. And, and, and you know, that's that's what makes the boat. Yep. It is. No question. Well, let's jump into those phones. They're packing up. You got it, buddy. How about we start it off this morning with Mike. Mike's calling us from Phoenix this morning. Mike, good morning. Thanks for joining us here on Let's Talk Hookup. Hey. Good morning, gentlemen. I got two phones going. One I'm on, and one I got the app hooked up to the radio, so I can hear you <laughs> loud and clear. Nice. Very good. And uh, my question is, can, Tim, can you walk us through the actual process? You know, you fly out of Tijuana, we get to Mazatlan. Do you arrange for a transportation both to and from? And the second part of that question would: I don't have any, uh, you know, big game gear. Do you guys provide that? I'm glad you asked that question. We've got plenty of gear on the boat. We've got about ten full sets that that we can outfit you with, and and it's it's at a really reasonable charge. We charge you for the line and the reel and and and, and a little more. It's going to be about like fifteen, eighteen bucks a day to 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 rent or use one of our rigs. The kite rigs are gratis. We we've, we've got those all set up. You guys just use ours. And the gear requirements are pretty minimal. You know, it's offshore fishing, mainly drift type. You only need two or three rigs really to be effective down there. So what would you bring? I think I'd bring a you know like like a hundred pound and a hundred thirty pound rig, and 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 you can you can get away with that. You really don't need anything else. You can adjust what's on the end of your your line, of course. You know, be it a sliding sinker, be it fly line, be it a sinker. You know, I mean, you, you it's it's a pretty minimal gear requirement. Again, if you go with hundred and hundred thirty pound, you're fine. And then of course the big rig will. You know, be it a kite rig, we've got that set up for you. Something to to, to fish a, a flat fall. You know, those rigs can all double up. So I think a couple of rigs is plenty. It's all you need. But we do have plenty of those rigs on the boat, at least for the first ten guys that book on. And, and from what from what I've seen in our bookings, that it, it we're going to have enough rigs to outfit everybody who wants to use ours. And maybe bring and something a little lighter just, just in case. Yeah, you know, something like 50 or 60. Or that's what I've been advising. Like yeah, if, 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 if somebody wants to bring a light rig, a 40 or 50 pound outfit, that's fine. I don't think that's going to be the go-to. No. But, you know, you can't can't go wrong having it, especially if you're, you're, you're bringing it along and you want to put it on the boat ahead of time. That's fine. And then as far as transportation, transportation from the airport is readily available right there, either cabs or shuttles. You just, just go out and, 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 and tell them you want to go to the El Cid Resort, and it's about, I want to say it's 25 bucks. It's not, it's not, it's not expensive at all. It, it's actually easier for, for anglers just to book their own or just jump in, a, in, the, in the shuttle or a taxi than to, for us to try to arrange it. And it's about a 40-minute ride, roughly, uh-huh. yeah. maybe a little less, 30, yeah. 30, 40 minutes, depending on traffic up there to El Cid. So I was going to chime in on that part because it, it, it's something that maybe somebody who hasn't been might be concerned about. I, I can assure you Mazatlan is a very, very easy place to navigate. As a guy who's never been there before, not fluent in Spanish, it is a very, very easy task to get from the airport to the El Cid and, yeah. and inexpensive. Right. When you walk out the gate and there's a thing. 
taxi right yeah. there in front of you. It's, yeah. it's super pretty. user friendly. Right. The airport in Mazatlan is very modern. Yeah, right. It's and modern. It's small too. It's yeah, not, small. You know, it's, it's yeah. It's 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 a it's it's a, an amazing. It, and and certainly if you're are you going, Mike? I'm thinking about. it. I'm going to go online and check it out. Yeah, you, you should go. Cause and and I would recommend spending at least an extra day in Mazatlan because Mazatlan is a cool place. Some great restaurants. Yeah. Some cool scenery. The El Cid Resort is really nice. But if you don't want to stay at the El Cid Resort, you can stay at plenty of other places, too. The other cool thing about Mazatlan is it is where a lot of families in Mexico choose to travel to. It's a beautiful location. It's beautiful beaches. But because it's that way, it's... It's inexpensive. I mean, straight up, it's yeah. it is still like an old school Mexico where it's very inexpensive to go to a really nice dinner and go get some margaritas and go get a you know go get a killer spa treatment with your wife. Like just everything about it is is really cool. It's a it's a rad town. Yeah, you'll, you'll enjoy it. The old you, world magic. Yeah, is still yeah exactly. There. That's yeah. what I'm trying to and say. And if you have any questions about the trip, I know Tim is going to be in the office there here and and available to talk to. If you have any questions, I'm sure he'd be happy. to Yeah, talk myself, about. Brian. Randy's around next week, but but for sure Brian and I and Tracy next week we're we're in the office the whole week and 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 beyond of course. Yeah. So we're we're ready. We're ready to uh, you know answer questions and and convince everybody if anybody needs it a, a, a handwritten note to their wives. You know, whatever. <laughs> I'm going fishing for four days at the Royal <laughs> Star right. in Mazatlan. An excuse for the teacher yeah. or whatever. Hey, thanks a lot for listening to us on the app there out of Phoenix, Arizona. And speaking of the app, uh, you know if you haven't downloaded our Let's Talk Hookup app. It is amazing. It is. Uh, there's a lot of different ways you can listen to Let's Talk Hook Up. Of course, you can listen right here on the Mighty 1090, and uh, you can listen on other apps and, and, and such like that. But I'm going to tell you, the Let's Talk Hook Up app is the easiest way to listen to everything Let's Talk Hook Up. Live, archive shows, uh, you know, uh, we have uh, uh, past shows, even with Marty in the past there and stuff like that. And all, always you can find what's going on in the guest, guests and future stuff. All the social media contacts are right. It's all in our app, and it's easy. It's free. So just go to the App Store or the Google Play Store and download the Let's Talk Hookup app today. You will love it. The thing I can't get over is how fast Adam gets archive shows up on the app. Because I listened, I listened to every show while I was gone, and the, there was a couple mornings when I was gone or I missed the beginning of the show. You turn around, the the shows are often the archive shows are often on the show within yeah. minutes after after the show finishing. Like it's it's crazy how quick Adam is able to get everything up there. And it's like you said, it's super easy to navigate and it's free. Yeah. it's a free app, right. and you don't have to listen to any commercials before you start the archive or anything like that. Yep, it's, yep. ready to go. Yep. All right. All good. Well, hey, speaking of how good the fishing's been down on the mainland Mexico and in the Baja, we're going to talk to the man that's always on top of it, and that's the cast man, Richard Castaneda from Castors. And today, this catch report is sponsored by Gamakatsu Hooks, Japan's leading fish hook that sets the standard for quality and innovation, strength and durability. And you should make the Gamakatsu Nautilus Circle Hook your go-to hook. It has the strength and durability as well as the right design to make it easy to hook your bait and put fish on the deck. Get Gamakatsu Katsu Nautilus Hooks at your favorite tackle store. Good morning, Castman. Hey, buenos dias and feliz año nuevo and uh, happy new year. Hey, I'm still waiting for my Christmas tamales, man. What, oh, you missed out. I, you, you I know. missed out. Hey, I was waiting for the call to go go hooping. Oh, I, had oh, oh, I see. Huh? You're in your hooping bag. And, yeah. And it, yeah, <laughs> I, never, I never got the call. But, hey, let me tell you, Mazatlan, or Mazatlan, <laughs> It's 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 a fabulous city, I'll tell you. You talk about some fabulous restaurants and the, oh, the seafood they cook down there. You know, all that all that shrimp that they catch in the Sea of Cortez uh, goes back to Mazatlan, gets processed, and then it's uh, it's sent out. So I'm telling you, they've got some fabulous fabulous seafood there, and uh, it, it's just a fun fun place. And uh, I, I, just a warning: stay out of senior frogs. <laughs> you may not be able to walk out of there. Yeah, you so. could be trouble. Hey, Cass, let me ask you a question. Those of our anglers that are going to go on that Royal Star fly down flyback trip, can they book their hotels and get suggestions from you at Cass Tours? Oh yeah, yeah, we sell yeah. hotels there in Mazatlan, and like you know, like I, my favorite hotel there uh, is the El Cid Marina. I mean, of it's course. just a fabulous location, and that's where the uh, boat's leaving from. Oh yeah. yeah, I mean it's right there. You know, it's and it's a it's Within walking distance of uh, a few restaurants, and then they've got those little uh, yeah. pulmonias, which are the little uh, look like little golf carts uh, that speed around. They got a Volkswagen engine. They kind of custom made there in Mazatlan, but those are 
those are fun to to ride in. I mean, uh, you know, going back into town, very inexpensive. You know, two or three bucks to get to the center of town. So that's what I like. Uh, that's what I like about that town so much. Is it's just it's very easy to navigate. Those little carts are everywhere, and you can't you know you can't stop. You can't wait more than five minutes, and it's a couple of bucks, and you can get you know, hey, take me to Killer Restaurant, and you know, zip down, and you have a great deal, and a couple, are couple bucks, friendly. you zip down to the beach. It's safe. just it's really fun. It's a cool town. So yeah, so if you're going on the on the Royal Star trip and you want to. Um, some suggestions on uh, if you're going to extend it out there. Uh, call Cast Tours and yeah, Cast Man will like set you idea. up. Exactly. Yes. So anyway, let's get on with the report. Um, you know, the fishing down in Cabo still remains outstanding for the striped marlin. Uh, the Cabo fleet's just been having a having a hoot catching striped marlin there, uh, both are, uh, up at the uh, Golden Gate, the uh, uh, Jaime Bank, and uh, of course out at the. Um, Finger Bank, a good run out there, but uh, some fabulous, fabulous marlin fishing. You know, guys have never caught a marlin, and you want to get one. Now's the time to go because it's, it's, uh, it's. Um, I can almost say guarantee, but you know me, I don't quite say guarantee. Uh, but it's 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 a fabulous fishery going down down there, and still catching Dorado uh, up inside the Sea of Cortez. Those banks that they fish out of San Jose del Cabo up there, or oh, the north winds have just been hampering the fishing there, and really cooled the water off, and uh, fishing really slowed down up in that area. Uh, still getting a few yellowfin tuna, uh, one or two wahoo in the mix. Uh, anywhere along the beaches, they've got roosters, sierras, and jacks. So some, some good fishing going on, uh, mostly in the Cabo area this right now. Uh, Ixtapas, you want Tanejo? God, we got a group of, like, 22 going down in March uh, for our our um, cast tours Ixtapa trip. And uh, uh, the the offshore bite kind of slowed down this year, this uh, this past uh, week, and uh, still getting a few sales uh, along the beaches. They've got some really good rooster fish, jacks, and sierras. Um, the tuna didn't were a little too far out this uh, this past week, so they didn't get out to get them. Uh, but you know those tuna, they when they come in, the different currents will bring them in a little closer, and some of the even the super pongas can get into the into the mix there. So. But anyway, that's the report for this week. I want to wish all the listeners a happy and prosperous new year with plenty of hookups, good hookups next year. And uh, I'll talk to you guys next Saturday, actually next year. Next year, next, next Saturday, year. Castman. Uh, thanks for uh, another great year, 25-plus uh, uh, years of great reports from the Baja and mainland Mexico. And we'll look forward to another 25 from you, okay? Oh man, I wish, but uh, you know, <laughs> you know that the long sleep is coming. You just don't know when. Yeah, <laughs> Casman. See you, Cass. You, thanks a lot for that. We'll talk to you next year, and a happy New Year to you. All right, boys. Talk to you then. All thanks, right. buddy. Thanks. All right, well, the phones are getting packed up again. If you want to get your opportunity to get through 858 area code 457-1090 or toll-free at 877-792-1090. All right, let's jump into the phones, Rick. You got it. Rich and Bradley, you're up next on Let's Talk Hookup. Hi, Rich, good morning. Uh, Good morning, and Happy New Year to everybody. My question for Captain Tim is, having listened to a lot of the reports of what they've been biting on down south, is what's the difference between... Sardines and sardinas. Good question. Maybe one of you guys who's familiar with a local sardina bait should, well, should weigh I in. Mean, you it's kind of a general term, I know, in Mexico. Any any kind of small it, bait. Would sardina is, be anchoveta, the same thing? They can be anchoveta. They can yeah. be those little uh, threadfin herring. That's what I think most people yeah. are referring to. The, the threadfin, threadfin herring, herring along herring. the beach. Yeah, yeah they, they, usually, and they, they typically don't live too well in, in, in live bait wells. You know, if you put ten scoops in, maybe a scoop lives. They're not a bad bait. but It's yeah. a small bait, too. Yeah. Yeah, they're smaller. Yeah. They're real thin too. They're not like you know that the sardine that we fish with is so hardy and you know easy to cast and it carries a hook well and it pulls line off your reel real good. That uh, that bait that's most commonly referred to as sardine, it's potato chip like. You know, they're they're kind of tall and skinny and you know you got to use you got to use a little bit smaller lighter hooks, a little bit smaller lighter line, that kind of thing. Scales come off them real easy when you put them in your easy. hand. Yeah. That's yeah. them. Yeah, yeah, and 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 you don't and it's not easy to get. The quantity right. that you need to, to to stop a school of fish down there. Yeah. Either. Right. They don't have Everingham Brothers down there <laughs> yeah, uh, right. bringing in with bait receivers, right? right? Yeah. Yeah. With so. that said, though, when you're in that zone, you know, fishing out of Rancho Lanero or something like that, and then you can pour those on them a little bit. That's yeah. a, it's a it's a great you're fishing it's a, a great ponda. tool to have yeah, for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. It's a good bait, a good local bait. Yeah. But, you know, going back to it, it's it just you know and nothing like it. It's <laughs> not like the Pacific sardine, which yeah. is. You know, it's 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 
widely understood to be the the, the, the premium yeah. bait. I mean, anywhere. Oh, I don't know how the hell they know it at Clipperton when you show up, you've got sardines. I know. They've never seen it before, <laughs> but they know it. Even they know. Well, that's yeah. true to think of it. You're right. I mean, a fish living there has probably never seen one of those in its uh, whole life, but. They don't hesitate. Boy, it looks tasty. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, cool. Oh, I can't wait for you to go down there with a load. I, I know. It's going to be so amazing. Yeah. Thanks a lot for the call, Rich. Good question. Appreciate that. Hey, check out this week's edition of Western Outdoor News. It's, it's the year of. In review for 2018, uh, their annual uh, deal that they do. We're talking about our great 2018 fishing year, both fresh and saltwater, as well as hunting. Check it out. This week's edition of Western Outdoor News. Hey, when we come back, we got a lot more Let's Talk Hookup coming your way. More of your phone calls, more great information with Captain Tim. You stay tuned. It's Let's Talk Hookup on the Mighty 1090. <laughs> here to tell you about our friends Jim and Mary and their incredible crew at Poway Valley Collision. I hear it all the time. Hey, I took my car to Poway Valley Collision and you were right. Mentioned you guys and they gave us the VIP treatment, fixed our car, and even gave us a special price. Believe me when I say Poway Valley Collision is worth the drive from anywhere in the Southland. We know you may not need them now, but when accidents happen, it pays to go to Poway Valley Collision. And I'm not fooling. Our listeners can save hundreds of dollars on your car or truck repair. They work with most insurance companies, including Auto Club, MetLife, and Wawanisa, and more. All you do is call Jim, Mary, or any of their team members, and they do all the rest. No hassles, just top-notch work and VIP treatment. I had my car repaired at Poway Valley Collision, and the job was perfect. So get your vehicle fixed right at Poway Valley Collision, 14211 Garden Road in Poway. Check PowayValleyCollision.com. For over five decades, Lee Palm Sport Fishing has has set the standard in long-range fishing that they pioneered long ago. The Red Rooster 3 sets a new standard of excellence. The Red Rooster 3 is one of the most modern, quiet, and fastest long-range vessels in the fleet. They have handpicked the finest crew to make your trip a memorable one. The Red Rooster 3 offers trips from 3 to 18 days and runs year-round to the best fishing spots on the planet. Ride the Red Rooster 3 once and you'll be back again. Call the Red Rooster 3 at 619-224-3857 or see them on the web at redrooster 3 38 years ago, my parents started Fast Lane Sailing Center. They sold catamarans because they wanted to do what they loved and sell what they loved to do. They wanted to share their passion with others, share the stoke. I'm Hayden Lane, and over the last three decades, my parents have shared that passion with thousands of people, my brother, sister, and I among them. We grew up right there at the shop in Dana Landing Marina in Mission Bay, sailing on the bay, fishing off the docks, and later off the Hobie Mirage kayaks. We grew up surrounded by the water. Our shop was filled with tools that Hobie and other brands have made to enjoy on the water. And I use them all. I mean all of them. Wouldn't you? So when you come into the shop, you're not going to hear a salesperson trying to convince you to buy something. You're going to hear us bragging about how much fun we have on these toys and telling you to do the same. We test every product out there, and we only sell the best because we want to use the best. So check out our website at FastLaneKayaking.com or get on down to the shop in Dana Landing and find your next adventure. Hey, it's time to talk about great gear from Shimano, and uh, boy, oh boy, I don't know about you, Ricky, but I kind of have my, what I would take on that four-day fly-down, fly-back Royal Star Mazatlan trip. What are you going to take down I'll there? I'll take exactly what I'm taking. My Talica 25 loaded with 100 pounds, my Talica 50 with 130 pounds. Both those rigs spent their development time on the Royal Star. Like, that's, that's where some of that reel was born, and what a perfect rig to take. Easy to cast a bait with perfectly capable of hooking any size fish that we hook down there. I, I'm, uh, that's it. That's what I'll be taking. And you match that with the Therese Rail Rod, which uh, we had a hand in, in developing exactly for that purpose. Yep. You put the what the uh, double XH with the 50 and the XH with the, the 25. You got it, man. And that's the deal right there. I know Royal Star has a bunch of them on there. The finest big fish reels Available that 25 and that that 50. Oh, we, we we you know we call it the winch. Yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable. Nothing like it. Unbelievable. The yeah. torque in that thing. I, I just it's it's an unbelievable outfit. It is. Check it out at your local Shimano dealer. The Talica 50 and Talica 25 with a Therese rail rod. San Diego's sports leader. The home of ESPN Radio. The mighty 1090. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup on the mighty 1090. All right, you want to get through? Here's your chance. 858-457-1090. You have a chance to talk to Captain Tim Ekstrom from the Royal Star. Talk about local fishing. Talk about long-range fishing. 
Anything you want to talk about here on our second to last show of 2018? How crazy. About that, huh? That's crazy, man. Tomorrow on Let's Talk Hook Up, we're finishing it out with Captain Frank Lopresti. Nice. Yeah. Good send off. Yeah, how about that, huh? For 2018. That guy is a stud. Okay, he just turned 75 years old, right? And he had knee surgery last Friday. I see him walking around the landing like three or four days after knee surgery. Yeah. Walking around. Nothing. He's chasing around bear down there. Yeah. Not, even, not even walking. With not like... even a cane or a yeah. walker. Yeah, no, right? he's cruising. He's I told stud. him yesterday. I, I, when I grow up, I want to be like oh, him. Yeah, straight up, <laughs> Unbelievable. man. Unbelievable. Yeah, you can tell him. He's like, well, you know, how's it going? Yeah, it hurt a little bit. You know, he says, yeah. Yeah. Kind of, kind of hurt, you know, a couple of days ago. You, you know if, if if he's saying that. Exactly. Yeah. Hey, you're down yeah. for a week. Yeah. 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 Anybody else would be on a, like a yeah. morphine yeah. drip. Yeah. That, guy, yeah. that, that guy's walking around. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. So I'm finishing good. it out tomorrow morning, 7 to 9 a.m. here on Let's Talk Hook Up with Captain Frank Lopresti and uh, Deckhand Kathy will be here, too, for sure. Let's go ahead and jump into those phones. You got it, man. If you want to get your shot, 858-457-1090 is open right now. Let's talk to Cheer Connors from Cardiff this morning. Good morning. Welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. Hey, good morning, you guys. Good morning. Um, hey, I got a question for you, Captain Jim. Shoot. Uh, a few shows ago, maybe the last show you did, you were talking about being down at Guadalupe Island, and in order to keep the tuna that got hooked up from being eaten by the whites, you said you pulled on them really hard. Now, that's, what I'm curious about is, and I've been thinking about it, at what point do you start that? Because when you pick up a 60-, 80-pound tuna, they go ballistic for quite a while. So do you just sit tight, let them run till they slow down, and then pull like you're trying to break the line? Or what's the story on that whole thing? We, we started question. we started yanking on them immediately. Is I mean, as tight a drag and keep the rod tip high. That that's the main, and just pull as hard as you can. Obviously, not hard enough to break the line, but right on the edge, that rod tip up, and stop the run as fast as you can, and just Keep that oh. maximum pressure on, I mean, from the very first instant. And what happens is it it actually planes the fish up. It gets them into that, you know, that upper piece of the water column, that top 25, 30 feet. And even up on the surface, when you really reef on them, I mean, I talk, like we were tag teaming them. I'd, I'd pull as hard as I could, hand it to Blake, who can pull five times harder than any human being. <laughs> and then he'd wear out, give it to Paul, give it to Drew, you know, and whatever, you know, mix the angler in there, of course, he's, he's in the mix, but get that fish up to where they're on that on that surface or up close to the surface, and we would get 80% of those, really? maybe even 90% huh. of them. Yeah, it seems like in, in any any of the fish that would go straight down and yeah. get into the death circle. Because they're sitting down underneath the boat, right? right, just waiting. Yeah, they're just, I mean, they, they, they've got the whole routine so dialed in. As soon as the T ones slow down, gone. But if you keep them, keep them up high and mobile, moving around in that upper part of the water column, you get almost all of them. Wow. Every once in a while, one would fly out of the water and do a National Geographic <laughs> jump on one, but, but not that often. You know, it, it, the good thing, um, this, this season, uh, last season too, but this season it happened even earlier, it was more like towards the end of October, uh, you know, even the third week of October, first week of November, the sharks left. Mm -hmm. They just went away. Weird. That's just, yeah, they just up and, and packed their bags yeah. and went out to, you know, I, I'm sure you guys all read the articles, you know, the shark or the, you know, the, 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 the shark buffet line or whatever it is. It's like 1,500 miles offshore in the middle yeah. of the Pacific. They all go out there and do whatever it is that sharks do, but they just pack their bags and leave. Yeah. Trip. There's a few of them, you know, talking to the guys like John Conniff who runs the, the island or they do the shark trips. They're still up there in the North Bay, but the whole lee of the island down south, you don't even see don't one. See That's crazy. They just like oh. snap your fingers all of a sudden, it's like, hey, where'd they all go? Yeah. You yeah. know, you might see one every one, and then, then they just... But the tuna are still there. Oh, yeah. Paul's down there right now he getting is. them. He is. I don't know. They had 27 fish yesterday. They had 14 their first afternoon. They're seeing it. It's not biting quite as well as the last trip yet, but it's a nice pick, and it's beautiful fish. Hey, I man, mean, it's... 60 pounds on the small end. Most of them are like 75, oh, man. 75 to 90, and then they got fish oh. yesterday up to 145. Whoa. Just, and, and, and it's know, three days before New Year. Yeah, That's right. exactly. And, and you know, you can. It, it's really nice, obviously, without with 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 all the, the 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 sharks gone. You know, it's fly line sardine fishing, forty fifty pound line. So you can get one on, and you know, you can pull on it for half an hour, go around and and, and wrangle the thing in. You don't have to worry about doing what we were talking about at the at the, sure. at the beginning. You know, answering his question and just shark rodeo business. I mean, you know, it's all it's all fine and dandy, but 
I, to quote <laughs> quote Marty Milner, a little of that goes a long way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Way better like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> no doubt. Hey, uh, sure. Thanks a lot for the call and happy New Year to you. That does free up eight seven 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 nine two ten ninety open right now. Before we jump on the phone, I got to give a plug to one of our great sponsors, Seakeeper. Oh, uh, I was out yesterday on field research my boat. I uh, took the Grind family, my good uh, buddy Larry Grind from Oregon and his family uh, uh, fr- uh, out yesterday, and we went uh, rock rock cod fishing on the on the on the Nine Mile Bank. And when we left the harbor, uh, it was not pretty. I will just say that <laughs> a little breezy, it was a big swell. No, not a lot of breeze, but just just, just lumpy, lump, just big lump, big swell. I mean, big northwest lump, just not nice at all. So. You know, you're thinking, okay, rock fishing and that, you know, you're sideways in the trough and stuff, was not an issue with so the cool. Sea Keeper. I mean, I, I'm telling you, I turned it off once, and they were all going, turn it back on, turn yeah. it back on. <laughs> the boat just starts rocking and rolling, right, like crazy. And I, it's the, the thing is like a miracle. It's an amazing it, piece it, of machinery, it's, man. It's, like. It's, it it is an amazing piece of machinery. Yeah, it, how how it works, I have no idea, but I'm just glad it does. That's the thing is, it's so difficult to describe to somebody that hasn't experienced what it's like when the boat is stable like that. I mean, you yeah. just you you just can't fathom that you can be on the ocean rolling your jaw off, and then you can push a button and the boat stops rolling. You just all of a sudden all of a sudden it's stable. You just yep. can't. It's a very difficult thing to fathom until you've yeah. experienced how cool that is. I, I know our day would have been quite shortened. Had yeah, right. we not had the seakeeper on there, because there probably would have been some ill people on sure. the boat. But we could have put a pull, good full deal, got full limits of rockfish. That's great. And uh, and came home. Nice. All happy That's and smiling. That's a good day, man. So right on. Keep it up, seakeeper. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for thanks sure. for the sponsorship, too. Appreciate it. All right. Well, let's jump back into the phones again if you want to get through. 877-792-1090. Let's talk to Hollis. Caught us from Santee this morning. What's up, Hollis? Good morning, you guys. Awesome show. Love hearing you guys. Thanks, so buddy. I had a curious question. What's all that secret stuff that you do for customers that nobody knows about, like <laughs> fluffing pillows, uh, <laughs> hand selecting the correct meat, you know, for food and all that wonderful jazz that a lot of people don't actually know about that you guys take the extra care of? And See, thank Hol- you guys. I appreciate it. And I appreciate everything you guys do. Thank, thank you. Now, obviously, Hollis has been on the Royal Star. I want to know how he, yeah. how he knows about the pillows. Yeah. That's what yeah. I, like, I want to know where I signed <laughs> up for that. <laughs> and, 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 and no pictures of that, please, of me, like, <laughs> testing the pillows out. Now, we, we uh, you know, as far as the creature's comforts go, I have to give appropriate credit to, to Gail, who has been when working on the uh, on Royal Star with us forever. She's the one who's in charge of all the creature comforts, you know, as far as uh, appointing the state rooms. And- yeah, linens, all that. She does a great job, and, and, and she's on it. She's the one who does the, 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 the product development and testing. But, uh, you know, f- focusing on the on the crew side of it and, and, and going back to what I was talking about with the, with the amount of time that Randy and Brian and I have invested in, in, in this is, is both our, our – I mean, it's our life, man. It's not it's not just our profession. It, it becomes your life, and, and, and you know, we – we consider every aspect of of of, of Royal Star an, an extension of 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 us personally, professionally. I mean, it's our reputation, it's our life. So, you know, we keep a close eye on things, and and we run the boat exactly how we'd want yeah. a boat to be if we showed up. You know, what I mean, I, I've I've talked a lot about it, you know, over the years, and in in, in particular. We develop a really good relationship with, with, with our anglers. And it doesn't matter if it's your first time on the boat or if it's your 20th trip on Royal Star over 15 years. You know, you come on the boat, and the number one thing you recognize is that, that we're, we're, we, we welcome you. We welcome you into the fold just like you've been with us, again, for, for 20 years. We don't, make, we don't differentiate in your experience level, you know, how long you've been fishing with us. You're, 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 you're part of the voyage. You're part of the adventure. You're part of the experience, and we want you to be comfortable we want you to feel welcome and and you know that the consistency of that has developed a clientele that that that, that speaks for itself yes. i i really take a tremendous amount of pride i i learned that by the way you know speaking of the old dog frank uh, you know i learned that from frank frank is just the master of of, yeah. of you know welcoming people making yes. everybody feel comfortable yeah and 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 you know i i i took that 
I, I, I took that 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 knowledge from him, and, and and you know we put our own brand on it, of course, and and you know here we are today. But I think it goes back to again, you know, every aspect of our operation, be it from you know an individual crew member and their interaction with somebody to the galley to fluffing the pillows up. <laughs> every, every aspect of it is an extension it's, of us. No doubt about it, and you got and it shows too, because every time I go on the boat, I know. It's it's a pleasure that consistency. Pleasure. You know, what I mean, I, that that to me is really you know that speaks to the professionalism, it, and that's what I want it to be. I want everybody stepping off that boat yeah. thinking, man, or stepping on the boat, and after you know a very short period of time from from the time they 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 they, they speak with Tracy on the phone and book their voyage to the time they drive away after having their coolers loaded at Fisherman's Processing, man, these guys have their act together. It's and like, a this five is how it star be fishing vacation. That's Indeed. It and it's the same people. You recognize the same faces. I mean, you just said it. Paul's been with you for nine years. I mean, the, the shortest tenure of the crew members, they don't, you don't, the Royal Star doesn't burn through crew. It's the same guys year after year after right. year. And you know them, and they know you, and they remember this last thing. And, you, you know, they, they become your buds because it's the same guy year after year that's providing that level of service. I mean, that boat doesn't turn over crew people, you know. Paul's leaving for nine years. I know Blake's been there. Got to be about the same. It's yeah. just it's Drew, years and years. Yeah, Ryan. how long Drew? But exactly, yeah. like year after year after year. It's it's a it's a unique operation. It's pretty cool to see. No doubt. Hey, when we come back, we got another full hour. Of Let's talk hookup coming your way, including a big block of your phone calls. We're also going to check in with the catch report, find out what's biting up and down the beach. You stay tuned. It's Let's Talk Hookup on the Mighty 1090. This is Chelsea from Dana Landing in Mission Bay. We are truly the one-stop shop for a great day on the water. Looking for a fishing charter? Dana Landing has you covered with the blackjack. Perfect up to four anglers, or the impulse up to six anglers in comfort and style. Dana Landing has a huge tackle shop with everything you need to go fish bay bass, tuna, or marlin, and our staff will dial you in. We even have Mexican and California fishing licenses and reel repair. Our deli at Dana Landing is a local's favorite with all the food, ice, and beverages you need. Hey, need freshwater tackle? Head to East County Bait and Tackle, the ultimate in rods and reels, the latest freshwater lures and live bait. ECBT has a stop second to none when it comes to sharing their passion for fishing. ECBT is at the end of the 67 Freeway on Maple View and Lakeside. And Dana Landing is next to the Dana Launch Ramp in Mission Bay. Check out DanaLandy.com for more details. Let's talk candidly about long-range fishing. This is Captain Frank Lepresti of the Royal Polaris and the Shogun. Nowhere on earth will you find a fleet of long-range boats like we have in San Diego. We are fortunate to have several top-notch operations to take you to the most productive fishing grounds in the world. We all offer good food, comfortable staterooms, huge bait capacity, and top-of-the-line fish-finding electronics. So why would you choose the Royal Polaris or the Shogun for your next long-range trip? What sets us apart from the rest? It's pretty simple. The boats, the crew, and the service. From the moment you arrive at Fisherman's Landing, the service begins. We help you load your gear and do everything possible to get beginners or seasoned veterans ready to catch fish. When it's time to fish, the Royal Polaris and the Shogun have the edge there, too, delivering the two best fishing platforms in the fleet. But don't take my word for it. Come fishing with us. If you want the best, it's Royal Polaris and the Shogun. For more information, call 619-226-8030 or on the web at royalpolarissportfishing.com or shogunsportfishing.com. Fifth Avenue Insurance has a new name. It's Snap Insurance. Still providing anglers and boaters with the best in boat insurance and the lowest rates. The experts at Snap Insurance will make sure your boat and property are covered right. Traveling to Mexico? Snap has you covered. You can even work with your agent to wrap your home and auto with your boat policy to save even more. Call them for advice on your current boat policy or any of your insurance needs. Snap Insurance, 800-527-6617 or snapins.com. That's S-N-A-P-P-I-N-S.com. XFRS 1090 AM Rosarito, Baja California. San Diego Sports Leader. The home of ESPN Radio. The Mighty 1090. Many years ago, Baja pioneer Bob Van Warmer found the area he called the Great Fish Trap in the East Cape of Southern Baja and built what is now regarded as the premier East Cape resorts of Palmas de Cortez and Playa del Sol. Today, following in their father's footsteps, Bob's sons, Bobby, Chucky, and Eddie, have taken Palmas de Cortez and Playa del Sol to new levels with the largest sport fishing fleet in Mexico, a luxurious spa, and top-of-the-line resort amenities. Van Warmer Resort
resorts have become a destination for travelers worldwide. But for us, Palmas de Cortez and Playa del Sol are just a short two-hour flight away. No other tropical fishing destination offers the experience and value that you'll find at Palmas de Cortez and Playa del Sol. Now you can plan your Baja fishing vacation quick and easy by visiting VanWormerResorts.com. And when you're ready to book, it's quick and easy. Or simply call 877-777-TUNA for more information. Van Warmer Resorts, the East Cape's finest. It's the year-end sell-a-thon at your San Diego County Ford dealers. But don't wait. These deals absolutely end January 2nd. Get a great deal on remaining 2018 models now. You ever tried selling a car on your own? It's a pain. Stop by your local San Diego County Ford dealer during the year-end sell-a-thon and get an extra $1,000 for your qualified trade towards select new vehicles. That's an extra grand without the hassle. Ford is offering a huge lease bonus on three of their top SUVs, Escape, Edge, and Explorer. Lease one and take advantage of the amazing year-end deals. Stop by your nearest San Diego County Ford dealer to see if you qualify. If you need a new truck, we have got you covered. They've got great financing deals plus cash back on the legendary F-150s. It's the best-selling truck in California for a reason, and all the latest technology on board will have you connected to your smartphone in no time. These new F-150s are smart and tough. Whether it's work, play, or a bit of both, Ford has got you covered. And right now is the best time to get you into the right Ford car, truck, or SUV for you. It's the year-end sell-a-thon. Swing by your local San Diego County Ford dealer to see the full range of Ford products. Get the best year-end deals and learn why these vehicles are built for San Diego. Quality is the name of the game at Seaforth Sport Fishing in Mission Bay. Free parking and fully stocked tackle shop, plus a great fleet. It's no wonder Seaforth Sport Fishing is a favorite among anglers. Come aboard top boats like the Aztec, Cortez, Endeavor, Apollo, Outer Limits, El Gato Dos, Pride, Tribute, Tomahawk, Prowler, Pacific Voyager, and the Voyager. Plus, the new Seaforth, Sea Watch, and San Diego offer the final Finest half and full day trips available. Seaforth Sport Fishing. For charters or regular open party schedule, check SeaforthLanding.com. Run by fishermen for fishermen in Mission Bay.